One thing that we had been trying to do without success was to declare Russia a terrorist state so that the um, effect of the sanctions would be more forceful. I don't know if it's too late for that. Could you speak to that? It's never too late, uh, Madam Speaker, but I would also add, add to this, in light of everything that Russia has done, why are we still maintaining the, the Russia-NATO founding act? Why are we still pretending that what he's done has not effectively undone the entire framework post-Cold War? He has suffered no consequences. In 2008, he invaded Georgia. He got a slap on the wrist. Nord Stream 1 was completed. He invaded Crimea in 2014. Nord Stream 2 was started. Again, a slap on the wrist. He butchered Syria at Aleppo. He went into the Middle East as a great you know, deal maker in the region, controlling migration flows. He expected the same thing in Ukraine. And, and Madam Speaker, I tell you, had the Ukrainians not fought, we would probably have been in a horrible situation today. So they're fighting for the stability and security of Europe, the entire balance of power in the region. They're the best NATO allies that we don't have in the alliance. And I think that's something we should redress.